Your doctor has recommended that you undergo hand surgery to treat carpal tunnel syndrome. But what exactly is carpal tunnel syndrome? The median nerve, which carries sensation to the thumb and first three fingers, passes through a natural passageway in the wrist. This opening, called the carpal tunnel, is formed by arch-shaped wrist bones and a connecting ligament. Various conditions such as pregnancy, injury, arthritis, and changes in the tendons caused by repetitive motion can crowd the already narrow tunnel, putting pressure on the nerve. This added pressure can cause a tingling sensation in the fingers and the thumb, and may even lead to numbness, pain, and restricted movement. This combination of symptoms is called the carpal tunnel syndrome. On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth, and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table. Your doctor will scrub thoroughly and will apply an antiseptic solution to the skin around the area where the incision will be made. Next, the surgeon will numb the involved area of the hand and wrist with an anesthetic, either with a local injection or by completely blocking a nerve higher up on the arm. When the operative field is completely numb, the surgeon will make an incision. Skin and other tissue will be carefully drawn aside to expose the carpal ligament. Then the surgeon will cut the ligament, relieving pressure on the nerve that runs beneath it. Finally, the doctor will close the incision with fine sutures. A sterile bandage will be applied and a splint will be put in place to prevent the wrist from moving while healing takes place. 